Hello, friends that live within the internet. You are looking beautiful today. Well, most of you, except for that one guy. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to be answering a very important question. Which CMS system is going to pay you the most amount of cash dollar as a software engineer? Now, I have been building CMS systems for about 20 years now. I've been blogging about CMS for about 10 years, so I know this area fairly well. And today, I'm finally going to answer the question, which CMS is currently paying the most amount of money in 2021? Now, if you haven't come across my channel before, then I'm assuming you haven't subscribed. So don't be a wally pants. Hit that subscribe button right now. My name is John and I do weekly YouTube videos on programming, web development, productivity, loads of beautiful stuff like that. So don't be a wally, hit subscribe. Now, assuming that you have done that, let's take a look at the 10th most well-paying CMS system in 2021. In 10, 10, 10, it's WooCommerce! Woo, 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 woo. Or maybe not, because it's actually pretty rubbish. Now, if you have a look at the salary, we've got £35,000, which is pretty naff. Now, the average PHP wage in the UK is £45,000. So, obviously, WooCommerce is an extension within WordPress, so it's not really its own CMS. However, you're going to have to go out, learn PHP, then learn WooCommerce and get paid 10 grand less. So you can also see that it's not trending and there's only been 36 WooCommerce jobs advertised the last six months. So let's not bother learning this because this is a waste of our time. Number nine, it rhymes with selfie time. So this comes in at the most popular CMS, which is WordPress. Now, WordPress is paying an average salary of £40,000, which is obviously better than Woo or not so Woo Commerce, and the contract rate is £325. Now, in terms of the UK, this is not great. You'll be much better off learning JavaScript, which pays on average about £60,000 or £70,000 and has a contracting rate of £500 a day. Now, obviously, the benefit of trying to learn WordPress is that you can actually start your own business. And when you start your own business, you do have the opportunity of making a lot more money because you don't have a contract rate. You could be charging clients on a per project basis. And this is probably where the benefit and value of learning WordPress comes in. So I wouldn't say don't learn WordPress just because JavaScript or say TypeScript pays you a little bit more money. If you want to go in your direction, become self-employed, then WordPress is a pretty solid choice because you can go out to small business owners and make cash money. I've seen a sexy lady called Kate. We're talking about position eight. Yeah. So as you can see, position eight has been filled by Spotify. And the interesting thing about Spotify is the stats are very similar to a normal PHP development position. So our annual salary is 45,000 pounds. And as you can see, our contracting rate is 400 pounds per day. Now, the one thing I'd like to point out though, is that there's only been 55 positions advertised in the UK within the last six months which is not great. So compare this to just learning normal React, you're gonna be on less money and there's less jobs out there. Now the benefit I think for learning Shopify is if you want to become a freelancer or a contractor or you want to start your own business or you want to sell stuff online. Now again, Shopify is used by loads of small businesses. So learning stuff like WordPress and Shopify will give you a chance to start your own agency. You're not gonna probably be the richest person. However, if you start doing project work, you can start scaling and getting a little bit more money. So again, for me, if you want to go self-employed and you think, you know, I like WordPress, I like e-commerce, these two are no okay solutions. There's always gonna be some work out there. However, as a software engineer, this isn't gonna pay you the most amount of money that you can get. In seventh place is Magento. So Magento is pretty much even Stevens with Shopify. So salary, 45,000, contracting rate, 400. There's a few more jobs with 131 jobs advertised. This is another downward trending technology. It seems to be kind of a theme at the moment. So I can't really say too much about Magento. However, it pays about the same as Shopify. Oh, what is that whiff? Yes, 
it's my wife's smelly nicks. Position six has been filled with Umbraco CMS. Now Umbraco CMS is very close to my own heart. I have built loads of websites using Umbraco and I've been using it for six years. So I think you should go out and learn Umbraco because I'm very biased. However, let us look at the stats and see how it compares to things. So as you can see, the average base salary is very similar to Shopify and Magento, £45,000 per year. The contracting rate is £400 per day. And we're also talking a um, 120 positions have been advertised in the last six months. Now, unfortunately, Umbraco isn't as popular as it was six months ago, so it's in a little bit of a downwards trend. However, it's still an epic and amazing CMS, especially when the .NET Core thing comes out in a few weeks' time. So, unfortunately, if you compare this to C Sharp, like for like, actually learning Umbraco means that you're worse off in terms of your career. However, again, this is something that if you want to do freelance work, knowing Umbraco will allow you to work with those small businesses. So if you want to do a C Sharp CMS, this is the one that I recommend that you go for. In five, we have Drupal. And Drupal is the winner in terms of best paying open source CMS, which is popular. Now, as we can see on the screen right in front of us, it's paying an average salary of £50,000 per year, or just under, and our contract rate is just about £400 per day. It's not as popular as some of the other CMS systems we've talked about, with only 69 positions being advertised in the last six months. And again, this is another downward trending technology slightly. So, Drupal is definitely the best open source winner. Let's have a look at which CMSs and the enterprise space pay more money. Position four comes in with Sitecore. Yes, I built a few websites using Sitecore myself over the years. It is an enterprise level .NET website. So traditionally, Sitecore used to pay a lot more than just normal .NET. However, over the years, it's got a little bit less out of favor. As you can see, the stats are pretty much in line with normal C Sharp development, just maybe a little bit better. So with an average wage of £50,000 per year, our contracting day rate is £450 per day. And as you can see, there's about 79 positions currently being advertised for Sitecore. So this is another downward trending technology. So should you learn Sitecore in 2021? Now, I'm not too sure about this. I do know that Sitecore has just got a 1.6 billion, with a B, worth of investment to make sure it's up to date because it's got a little bit behind the curve. So when all this money comes in, hopefully Sitecore will be a big game changer again. However, at the moment, it'll definitely pay a little bit more. It's using the old .NET framework rather than .NET Core. So, you know, as a C Sharp developer, you're probably better off if you don't know it, just learning normal.net because you'll get paid the same amount of monies. Taking the bronze medal is EpiServer CMS. Now, EpiServer is another CMS which is very close to my own heart. I'm an EpiServer EMVP engineer. What, 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 what? So, yeah, I don't want to toot my own horn, but yes, yes, I am. So, traditionally, there used to be a EpiServer site core, bit of a battle. They're both .NET CMS systems. They always used to be more work for Sitecore, and this is shown in this um, stats. As you can see, there's only 34 jobs advertised currently compared to the 80 of Sitecore. However, the median base salary of EpiServer is now a little bit higher, and that is at 52,500 pounds. And the contracting rate is slightly lower than Sitecore at 407 pounds. So as you can see, EpiServer, Sitecore, they're very similar. Now, EpiServer is also in a very similar place in Sitecore. They're just about to hopefully release their .NET version of their CMS. When that happens, I think everything will be a lot more modern. They're also working on an amazing JavaScript client-side library, which I'm super excited about. So hopefully when they get all this new stuff out, it will, again, it will become a trending technology. So that should hopefully be very, very soon. The winner of the silver medal is the Adobe Experience Manager. Now, I've never used this CMS, however, it is very enterprise. As you can see, it's paying enterprise level prices with a salary of £70,000, I'd take that, and a contracting rate of £500 per day. ka -ching! Now, as you can see, there's not really that many Adobe Experience Manager jobs out there, with only 24 being advertised. This is another downward trending technology. However, do you know what I mean? For £70,000, this is something which could be worth looking at. I don't have any experience with it, so I can't really give any advice. However, it is one of the best paying CMSs out there. 
That is my no expense spared firework display. And as you can see, the winner is Wix. Well, when I say winner, it's the top of the list. Now, if you've seen my video on the best paying programming languages, Swift won that one. And this is a very similar situation. So in the last six months, there's only been five positions advertised for Wix. There's been no contracting jobs, so there's no contracting jobs rates available. And the average salary is £80,000. So even though this pays really well, I categorically would not recommend that you go out there and base your career on Wix development. Instead, maybe think of a WordPress, maybe think of a Adobe Experience Manager, a Sitecore and EpiServer, Umbraco. However, I would not go out and base your career on Wix. Again, unless you want to be a freelancer and you want to work with small businesses because loads of businesses will allow you to go up, theme a Wix thing and then charge them money. I mean, who wants to be a software engineer and base your career on that? But you know, if that floats your boat, it is up to you. And that concludes the end of the top 10 best paying CMS roles. So what did you think? Did you know what number one was going to be? Were there any surprises? Now for me, obviously, I didn't know the answer to this question when I started this video. And the thing that really jumped out for me is that every single CMS system was currently downward trending. As I said at the start of this video, I've been building CMS systems for about 20 years. Now, 20 years ago, I focused on C-sharp CMS systems because they were the cool kid at the time and they actually paid more money than normal C-sharp development. However, as we can see from this list, it doesn't really make a difference if it's PHP, C-sharp. Currently, CMS developers get paid less than normal programming languages. So if you're just learning to code nowadays, my advice would be go out, learn JavaScript, learn React, because you're gonna get paid more money and you're actually gonna have less things to learn. Now, hopefully, you know, in a few years time, all the CMS systems are getting a big investment. They're spending loads and loads of time to get up to the jam stack, doing all the stuff, for all the cool kids. So in another five years, CMS might be cool again. You know, it might be a very well-paid job. However, for now, if you're just starting out in your career, I would probably avoid spending all that time and effort learning CMS systems. Now, this actually makes me a little bit sad saying it. As I said, I've spent my whole career focused on CMS. I have had a great career, which I think, you know, anyone should go through the same process. However, you know, if currently it pays less money and it takes more effort, you do have to question, is it worth the effort and the investment of learning a CMS system? And for 2021, I'm not sure it does. So anyway, if you've been fascinated by this video, you've enjoyed the way that I've presented it, and you haven't already because you are some sort of absolute numb nuts, please hit that subscribe button because this is YouTube. I'm trying to grow this channel and I would very much greatly appreciate it. If you want to help me trick YouTube into sharing this video to more people, hit that like button. I also run a weekly newsletter, comes out every Sunday, just gives you an update of all the content I've been creating, gives you a load of links to stuff that I found interesting that week. I think it's super cool, doesn't cost you any money, just sign up on the link below, it's the newsletter link, I'm pretty sure you can figure it out because you are a clever person. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've learned something, got some value out of it because that's the point of them. Hope you have an amazing day wherever you are out there in the world and happy coding.